Okay, in this video, I'm gonna straighten out this guitar neck. I got this guitar used in, I would say 2017 for, let's say 350 Canadian. It is definitely not an Iron Maiden Fender. It is super fake, but it's a, it's a nice fake, I would say, but definitely fake. So I got this when I was working out of the country for a bit. So I got it so I could take it apart, put it in my suitcase, put it back together and sit in my hotel room. But you can see the difference between high and low E strings here. There's a lot more, there's a lot more wood on the low E than there is on the high E. So you can see when I push down the sixth string, it actually goes right onto the edge of the fret. It has a tendency to roll over the edge. Whereas if you do that on the low E, that's not the case at all. It's nowhere near the edge of the fretboard. So the issue is that the neck is not necessarily sitting perfectly straight in the pocket of the body of the guitar. So I am going to make this adjustment and it's not a simple adjustment. It just has to go, you know, in that direction. And you can see up at the top of the guitar, it's sort of the opposite up by the tuning pegs where there's a little bit more on the high E and a little bit less sort of fret uh, on the low E. The other thing you can see is this one screw doesn't actually sit flat on the mounting plate. It's sort of beveled up and that's because these holes aren't drilled very well. The person who sold it to me said it was a, a made in Mexico fender body and then the neck is a, a mighty mite neck. So I'm not sure if he drilled everything himself, but he didn't do a good job if I could tell you that. So I've loosened up all the strings. I'm just going to leave everything attached, but they're loose enough that they're not going to pull on the neck or cause anything to twist out of shape. So I'll just throw everything in super fast motion here. And you see the screws that are closer to the bridge. They're actually coming out on a, sort of a strange angle. I think the neck is also kind of drilled on a strange angle, but definitely the body is sort of very poorly drilled. So no real confusion here, just four screws holding everything together. There's the metal plate and that's about it. So you can see the holes in the body are, are tight. You can't just drop the screw through. So my move here is actually to enlarge the holes that are in the body. The screw holes in the body don't necessarily need to be super tight on the screw. Like you don't have to screw them through the body. And you also don't want those screw holes massive, I guess. So I'm just taking the one size up for the drill bit and I'm just dropping that through the, the screw hole and just sort of make it a little bit bigger. So the screws can actually drop in. You don't have to screw them through the body, but they're still tight enough that they don't really shake around too much. And just that little bit of play should give the, the neck the movement it needs. But well, you can see, I'll show you the, the one hole that's way off here. So the top two holes are good. The bottom right hole is pretty good. It's the bottom left hole that's way off. So you can see that it's, it's very much off-centered. Try and get everything lined up here. So you see how off-centered it is. So I actually do take the drill bit one more time and I upsize those holes again. So I don't think you'd want to go to the size I did. Um, however, if you have a very poorly drilled body, increasing the screw hole size might help you out a little bit and give you that extra bit of adjustability. Anyway, throwing it in fast motion again. I'm just going to put the screws in loosely. I'm not going to tighten everything all the way down. And again, you can see the screws are going in a bit of an angle. Like I said, I don't think the person drilled the neck out very well either or the body, <laughs> but that's okay. It's all going to come together here. So I'll back the screws off a little bit. So I really just want the screws snug, but loose enough that I could still move the neck a little bit. So, and you can see that when I pull the neck towards the left, it adjusts the strings in the direction that I need it to go. So I can't hold the camera and the neck and screw things in. So I'm going to put the camera down here for a second, but really I'm just using my one hand to pull the neck over 
And then I'm gonna use obviously my right hand to just tighten up the screws. And just like putting a tire on your car, just tighten one screw a little bit, go to the next one. Don't crank one all the way down and then crank some other one all the way down. And could put the neck on a strange angle. And there's the result. You can see that it was able to move the strings, straighten everything up, and now it's looking pretty good overall. And now, as well, all those screws are sitting nice and flat. So definitely just enlarging the holes a little bit on the body of the guitar gave me that extra adjustability I needed to be able to move the neck around a little bit. But now I am going to have to adjust the strings and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.